favoritism in more than a double digit number. Hold it. Hold, whoa, 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 whoa. Double digit number. Hold it. Stop the presses. You know what? Uh, uh, somebody, somebody needs to call 911 right now. Somebody please call. No, no, seriously. <laughs> we we got a crazy, a crazy a, a, a person here. John Mooney, Looney Mooney is uh, that? Uh, no, it's John Looney. He's now John Looney. John no. Looney literally just said Chase Young is like Lawrence Taylor. Chase, man, listen. You know what? Michael Parsons more Hold like, it. More no, like no, him. no, no, no. Because, see, I got people talking smack to me because I was saying some of the things that Micah Parsons was doing was Lawrence Taylor as his rookie year. I got bitch slapped. I got bad, bad, mad dog, uh, I mean, bad dog going crazy on me and stuff. How dare you compare Mark Holmes, Lawrence Taylor, a Hall of Famer, to Micah Parsons? Now, this mother humper, this mother humper right here, John Mooney, is saying that Chase Young, who looked like Chase Old last year when he showed up, couldn't beat one on one against average tackles? Average tackles, the best thing that probably happened to him was actually messing up his knee so he didn't embarrass himself for the rest of the season. You, my friend, are going to say that he's like Lawrence Taylor? Man, dude, dude. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> I will not address you anymore because you crazy. You crazy, man. I, 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 you crazy. I, I, that, that's just, I mean, come on. If I got killed for saying Micah Parsons, who had a chance to get the rookie sack record, got 13 sacks to Chase Young's eight that he had, and I get trashed, and you're going to turn around and take a guy who came out looking like ass last season, looked as far away as rookie of the year as anybody could. And you're going to say he was like Lawrence Taylor. Oh, he, he probably isn't even going to be ready to start the season. Come on, man. Get the hell out of here with that garbage. Now back to our regularly scheduled program. Remember the 17 games they're going to play this year. Is the pressure being ratcheted up on the Philadelphia Eagles as we speak? I guess, I guess you could say that. Uh, I, I still, you know, I, I think some of this, um, some of this optimism is delusional. I mean, I don't, you know, I, I really, let, let's be honest about this. Some of this optimism is If you look at that delusional. team, they got a really good offensive line, right? Okay. But all, all it right. takes is one injury. They do. I they mean, do. look at the backups, you know. So oh. those guys got to play they all. They got good backups. They what are you talking backups. about? The backups Where? get hurt all the time. Compared to other Dillard, teams. But, you know, Dillard they are gets, what they are. Dillard gets hurt in practice. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah. we talk Jack, about yeah. practice. Jack, you know you're going to get two or three games out of him, and then he's going to be out for six, six, seven weeks. Ooh. But all right, but here's the Damn. point: those guys, if they can go all seventeen, they got the best offensive line in the division, and you're going to win some games. The, the wide receiver core, I, I think they got two wide receivers. I, how can they be a top five wide receiver core when you got you only got two guys? I mean, they're really good, you know. Yeah, the garbage and, quarterback uh, and Devonte Smith are really good, but the rest of those guys, let's be let's be honest about that. Yeah, I think you people know. are overrating quite yeah, a lot. Zach Pascal, <laughs> you know, um, on, overrating you, a lot of them people. Nick Tor Sirianni talk about Pascal. <laughs> yeah, he's, got him, he's, he's not going to get the ball. The Pro Bowl faster this year. Come he, on, he's going to be blocking for AJ Brown on the jet sweeps. Sweeps if he gets in there, and Greg Ward, you know, he's a leadership guy. I'd rather have Jalen Rager than either of those guys, you know? What? Jalen Rager? Saying, Damn. We haven't mentioned Jalen Rager in I'm a just while. saying, you know, so, so <laughs> I mean, the you got two pretty really good. I think Devontae Smith is the best player on the team. I, I think I said that the last player. show. I think good he's player. he is a talent. Uh -huh. So you got two really good wide receivers. You got, um, you know, the running backs, I like them. But you can't, unless you're Tennessee. Got a good tight end. Good yeah, tight end. I like Goddard, too. Unless you're Tennessee, you're not going to win that way you know, with running the ball. And um, and is the quarterback going to be able to throw it? We we still don't know that. I mean, I I was looking for uh, you know even in the the little warm ups they did during the OTAs, I was looking for 
anything I could glean from his delivery, his steps and everything. Damn. And he did something different every drop back. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't see any. I mean, but, it, you know, that's the, the setting was it was an OTA. So, you know, you're not all in a rhythm or anything. But uh, so, I mean, you, you guys got to – and look at – and the defensive line. I like the defensive line. I The guy people haven't spoken about or been talking about is Milton Williams. He's going to be really He's not going to play. Where's he going to play? Uh, no, no. I Where's he going to play? Milton Where's Williams gonna is going to get a lot of snaps. Yeah, Ooh. he's going to be good. Yeah. 20, he'll, he'll probably 20. end up – He'll probably end up in uh, where Brandon Graham is. I, I don't know if Brandon's going to, you know, I don't know how much juice he's going to have. So, I don't know how much Brandon or Milton are going to play. They I think Milton's gonna, Milton is going to play a bodies. lot. And then um, and then the other guy, Sweat, he's he's the one that's going to benefit from Hassan. Oh, yeah. Reddick, Josh Sweat's a good player. Yeah, yeah he, he was, you know, if, uh, mm -hmm. if Reddick had been there last year, he would have had dub double-digit. Uh, Sweat would have had double digits. I think Jordan Davis is more important to Reddick and Josh Sweat because he's just going to in, – in, in his rookie season, he's a two-down yeah. guy, John. I mean, come on. He Probably. gets winded during the warm-ups. Probably. But it, it, I'm he, not only talking it's about – take him some time. Yeah, I agree with that. He's only going to play about 40 50% of the time as a rookie. But when he's out there, you got to double-team him. You have to. You can watch this whole thing in entirety, but they go through. <laughs> Bob, Bob gets he he basically bitch slaps his own hometown team and just says, basically, we overrated, we overrated, and I'm ignore I, I'm ignoring you, John, John, John Looney. Yeah, you know what? The last thing a Washington fan needs to be talking about is anybody else's quarterback because you yeah, you took away. <laughs> You took the Eagles trash that turned into the Colts trash, and now that's what you got for a quarterback. You know, <laughs> you ain't got no room to talk about anybody's quarterback. Anyway, what's up? I love I love weed. How you doing, man? Brian Green, Eric Willis. Um, don't worry about Dak. Worry about Wentz, your quarterback. There you go. Go get him, Lola. Commanders have built a great defense. You know. I wonder how many weeks it'll take before we will never see uh, J uh, Mooney again. They said I, I'm, I'm saying the over and under will be four. They said Pittsburgh has the best defense right now. Not Washington. <laughs> Go figure. Uh, That's yeah. what, <laughs> they're probably at probably bottom tier. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> well, we are... We're going to start doing some a couple things a little different. You know, it's the 1st of July. We got training camp starting. Um, the charter will get there the 25th of the month, guys. 68 days, 22 hours, 55 minutes. And.